Welcome back to another video in our series of 5 minute tutorials on important Godot concepts and practical skills. Today we talk about exporting Blender models, 3D assets that we have designed in Blender, into the Godot gaming engine. I have here a model of a package of coffee in Blender that I created earlier for a coffee shop scene. The scene has a collection of three different objects, a clip, coffee package and a label. There are some meshes inside with the same name and also materials. The first time I wanted to export, I actually tried to save. And here you can see that, well, you can only really just rename your file. There are some options here, but really not much. You can compress the file. What you do have to do is you have to select export. When you click on export, you see there is a large variety of files you can choose from. Generally, you choose your format based on the features of your model and what you need it for. For example, if you publish your 3D asset to a content platform like CG Trader, you will need to look at what file types are offered by others and what people expect. When exporting to Godot, you choose GLTF 2.0. This is officially recommended by the community. I put a link to that in the description. So this is my GLTF export window. So I have a way to enter my file name. That's fine. And here on the right side, I have some presets or some uh, properties. I can choose my format. I can choose between binary, separate or embedded. Binary is just a digital format. It's very small and it's good if I just want to consume it as an asset in Godot. If I want to edit it elsewhere, I will choose embedded. A separate is just different files, which is basically the same as embedded, just split up in different files. And I just want to do an embedded export here. And I ignore that for now. I just do an export in keep the name and I export that. And I do another one that I want to not save us. I fell for that one again. I have an export, a GLTF again, and then I pick an embedded. Pick an embedded. Um, here I have both open already. So this is the binary, standard binary file, and my embedded kind of has a more human readable form. I can also go in here and say, I just want to export this clip. And I go there again and I say, include only selected objects. Here my clip. And then I can say I want to export that as a clip. Export that as a clip. And then I have, I have that open here already. I only have the clip node as part of my scene, which is useful if you just want to export part of your scene. And then when we look at the other options, we can, for example, have we can export cameras and lights. By default, they are not exported. We can make sure that the y-axis point upwards. That's very useful for Godot. We can apply modifiers if we haven't applied them. And we can include animations and other things as well, apply compression and so on. So lots of options in GLTF 2.0 for exporting for Godot. So let's switch over to Godot. Here I have a very basic scene with a world and a table. And I want to import the model. I have here my GLTF files and here in my file system down here I have a models folder with a coffee package subfolder. Let me just move this coffee package GLTF into this coffee package subfolder and I have here my GLTF file and three material files. I could now move the GLTF file directly into my scene or attach it to my table or my world. This is however not a good way to do. Uh, you should Instead, double click on a GLTF file and then create a new scene. What happened now is that I have a new scene here, an unsaved one. Let me save that right away as coffee package scene. And then here I have a clip, a coffee package and a label. And I move that a bit closer here that I can now move because I have a scene here. I can move that on my table and let me just move that up. And here is my coffee package. I can now say I want to move my label and I save that. And in my world, the label has also moved. It doesn't matter how often I duplicate that. I will always get the same object by the same scene, created, instantiated by the same scene. So this is very powerful. You should always do it that way. So, and that's all for today. 
This is how we export assets from Blender and import it into Godot. So I hope you liked the video. Please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I see you soon again.